This, this, this is the Dog Walk Chronicles. Today is the Feast of St. Boniface, patron of Germany. Died in 754, martyred. Is blessed. Mein Werk of Paderborn. This is also who was a uh, priest and worked to educate the people, again in Germany. Uh, St. Ferdinand of Portugal, uh, from Portugal, um, who spent most of his time, he was royalty, but wanted to live the religious life, so he spent his time praying and helping the poor. So he worked on his, his logic and his, his, he learned about Christ so he could know Christ. And then by knowing Christ, he realized that he has to help Christ and he helps Christ when in the poor and in anyone that he in everyone here like I say Jesus doesn't need a ham sandwich and a foot rub from you but he does need you to feed the poor um, and Saint Ferdinand did that then he went to uh, Morocco with his brother led an expedition this was in the 14 early 1400s he was captured in Morocco, tortured for five years, um, and then died of his uh, injuries. And today, also, the Saint feast day of St. Franco Asergi, his Benedictine monk uh, in Italy. For 20 years, he was a monk. He became a hermit for several years after that. He was renowned for being, again, pious and prayerful. He rescued, one thing, he rescued a baby from a, a baby in swaddling clothes from a wolf. Don't know what happened to the baby. Don't know what happened to the wolf. In the last couple days, we've heard a few, at least one, maybe two wolf stories. This is now three wolf stories. Uh, don't know what happened to the wolf. Um... He was drawing so much attention to himself. Again, pious people, holy people, people that love God, have an inner peace, have a certain type of serenity, an aura, a riz, if you will. And that makes them attractive and it makes people want to be around them. So, of course, people wanted to be around St. Franco of Sergi. And again, another theme, these, these people oftentimes become hermits, and monks and they go to cells a cell is not a small phone a cell is if I'm understanding it would be like like let's say a room I'm picturing a room on the side of a wall of a building where you're basically walled off from the building and basically walled off from humanity so that you can be in silence which we need silence which are our our community our our world doesn't have silence anymore see the bench i made is this gonna work let's try let's have a seat uh see this is what i wanted to do sit while i do this um so he, you would go to a cell and you would get peace so a lot of these saints seems to be a running theme they want to be away so they can pray so they can do that but then people are attracted to them Pretty soon there's somebody there with them, then another and another and another. And oftentimes they'll find a monastery there or a, um, yeah, a monastery of some sort. And then they will uh, get it in shape, get a order, a rule of order, like a way to live, live with austerity, being, being living what you need and only what you need, helping the poor, praying for everyone, for those people. Um, and then they leave. They want to get away. So St. Franco of Asurgi, he was out, wanted to be left alone. So this ended up, of course, drawing much attention to him and company, which he didn't want to company. So he moved in a cave with a mother bear and her three cubs. And as you can imagine, he was left alone. So that's pretty cool. That's a new one. Can you picture him? I can't picture how he pulls that off, but I mean, you can see miraculous stuff where you he walks up and gives some berries to the to the bear and it just kind of kneels down in front of him and licks him or something like that cow did for that other saint when he was praying would come and lick his clothes and the cow would give 
50 times the milk of a normal cow, which just seems a little gross. I have to say, that seems a little, a little creepy. I mean, almost, ah, oh, man, that's kind of, ugh, poor cow. But, um, yeah, uh, yeah. So, I mean, or what does he do? Come to the front of the cave and just kind of sit in the corner to get out of the sun and to get out of the rain. And the bear just kind of recognizes he's not a threat and leaves him. Or how does that work even? So let's ask St. Franco of Sergi, blessed, or St. Ferdinand of Portugal, blessed, Mindwerk of Paderborn, and St. Boniface to pray for us. Let's ask all the saints to pray for us. And let's pray for the souls in purgatory. And I would ask that we might start a movement to pray for the conversion of the Americas so that we might, um, by our example, convert the world. Uh, I'm thinking that that's like thunder. And I'm also thinking of like Guadalupe. I think we should go inside. Because I don't want to get hit by lightning. Right, guys? Time to go? Um, so let's uh, ask the saints to pray for us. Let's pray for the souls of purgatory. Oh, what's the matter? Yeah, getting a little nervous, huh? Um, yes. Do that.